Hello everyone, welcome to Embrace the Suck, our daily video cast for Elevate OCR. So today is Foodie Friday, talk about nutrition, foods, trying new things. Uh, so today I'm going to talk to you about homemade bulletproof coffee. Uh, so this is not my recipe, uh, this is something that a guy named Dave Asprey came up with, has a blog called uh, Bulletproof. He talks about nutrition, he talks about health, he talks about 120 degrees, sorry, 120 years. Uh, he talks about sleep. It's a great podcast. Uh, he spent about 30 years of his life dedicated to the science behind sleep, nutrition, health, and living a long life. Uh, and one of the staples of his life is a thing called bulletproof coffee. So lots of people like coffee. Almost all people have it sometime daily, maybe a couple times a day, maybe more than you need it a day. And his thing is, let's have coffee a healthy way that adds to our life, longevity, health, and nutrition. So uh, a couple weeks ago, started making a homemade version of his Bulletproof coffee, and I'm gonna show it to you today. Uh, so the first thing is caffeine. So there's a lot of stuff out there on caffeine. You should do your own research, but from what I've read, what I believe is two to three servings of caffeine a day is good for you. Uh, you should have it earlier in the day, not later in the day. You don't want it to mess with your sleep cycles. The caffeine is mostly positive for most people. It has good interactions within your body. It wakes up processes and cells, and it's a good thing to have in moderation like most things are. Um, the Bulletproof coffee is taking regular coffee, all right, so we're not using any special coffee, although Lots of coffee people use special coffees and you can do that. We're using chock full of nuts from Costco. It's cheap, it's pretty good. It works for me. Coffee snobs uh, will disagree, whatever. Um, and the Bulletproof coffee is taking this and instead of putting creamers, sugar, dairy in your coffee, it's putting natural healthy things that are a lot better for your body. So first thing we're gonna do is use cashew almond milk this is just a dairy substitute, a lot healthier for you. Um, we're gonna use this. We're gonna use coconut oil. This is your healthy fats in coconut oil. This is a great way to get in your healthy fats. We're gonna use ghee or grass-fed butter. Another healthy fat, it's good for your body. This is good fat. This is a great way to get it in, in your coffee instead of your creamer, milk and sugar. And uh, cinnamon. Cinnamon is great because it adds good flavor, but cinnamon is also a natural antibiotic for your body. So having a little bit of cinnamon every day is a fantastic way to keep up that antibiotic. Now, how do you get butter, oil, and cinnamon into coffee and it's not all clumpy? Well, you could stir it in um, and just stir it into a regular cup of coffee and it'd be okay after a while, but there's a couple ways to do it where it actually tastes a lot better. One is mix it all in a blender. Blender, blend it up. You've got a magic bullet, you've got a neutral bullet, something like that is good. For me, I've got a, a milk steamer, a uh, milk frother. Um, you can pick up on Amazon for like 30 bucks. Uh, I found this works great. You take a little bit of that almond milk, put that in there. You take your ghee, just gonna get not even a spoonful, like a little tablespoonful. Put that in there. Take your coconut oil, same thing. About a teaspoonful, put that in there. And then you're gonna have your dash of cinnamon in there for your flavor and your antibiotics. Turn that sucker on. These milk frothers take, uh, 30 seconds or so to get done. You're gonna get a nice, creamy, buttery creamer, basically, to put in your coffee. It's gonna be way healthier than what most people put in their coffee. And it tastes fantastic. It's like a hot, creamy, milkshake coffee that's good for you. Uh, so while that goes, we're gonna put this coffee in here. Once our creamer is ready, we're going to throw it in. So I recommend you try this. 
uh, experiment, see what you like. You can do different flavors than cinnamon. Uh, you can do different oils, uh, but coconut oil and ghee are two of the best sort of natural fats that you can get in your diet. And I recommend you try it. We like it, I love it, um, and uh, it's a good thing to do. So remember, embrace the suck, and we'll see you next time. I'm out.